After bothering people in Japan, getting knocked out in their streets, and then thrown in jail, his buddy is continuing their legacy in Tel Aviv, but this guy is now quickly realizing Thailand is not Japan. I wanna f***ing cut your f***ing alarm. F*** you. Hey. Yo, 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 I'm ch- yo. Yo, yo, check this out, yo, yo. Yo, yo, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to, I pay, I pay, I pay money, I pay money, I pay money, I pay, I pay, I pay. No, no, I take, I take, I take off, I take off, look, 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 wait, 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 yeah, I give, I give money, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to. No! And he quickly transitioned into a coward, as apparently this wasn't the first time he got pressed in Thailand. I'm YouTuber. YouTuber. Yo, stop, stop. Don't do that. 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 I'm American. I'm American. Alright, you wanna fight? Alright. That's okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, you got it. You got it. You got it. Okay, I live. All right, all right, all right. And for some reason, it always disproportionately irritates me when travelers go to other countries, offend the locals and their culture, but then try to deflect with, I'm an American, as if that's some sort of Harry Potter spell that protects you from consequences in the third world. Because if he gets tossed into a Thai prison, even though he looks like he does, I don't think he plays in the WNBA, so I doubt Biden would be freeing him anytime soon. Because he's not the first tourist to flex first world citizenship. I would like the American police right here, right now. Go Canada! Go Canada, please, man, I'm serious! See ya! Go, go See ya, bro! But back to the nuisance streamers flexing their fatherless antics as some sort of career path because I'm beginning to think it's not working, as they're continuously being banned from streaming platforms as it pretty much destroys their brand. But the platform he's currently advertising shows him struggling to raise $200. And apparently he's been at this for a while, barely bringing in 100 bucks in a couple of weeks, where some of his streams barely even see 10 views. And I'm not gonna sit here and flex numbers because I know everybody starts from somewhere. Just because a streamer only gets 10 views a day doesn't mean in six months that can't easily turn into 1 million. But I really wanna know if this is just an insane amount of confidence or just outright delusion. To think getting knocked out in Japan, thrown in jail, possibly having to snitch against your friend, moving down to Thailand to likely repeat the same cycle again to what looks like less money than a single shift at McDonald's, you would think this just wouldn't seem worth it anymore, not to mention the long time damage to your public image. Because whether it's a job, a college, or even a girl he's trying to date in the future, all it takes is for one person to recognize him from those videos of when he got popped like a pinata in Japan for them to instantly lose all respect for him. So just like the not Somalian kid, I genuinely hope he can just turn his life around, cease the live streams, and stop being a walking reminder of what happens when you're raised without a strong father figure. But if you appreciate my concise, light order commentary on the tragic status that is today's reality, hopefully I've earned your subscription, then go check out the video on how his buddy finally found out in Tel Aviv.